Hey everybody, welcome back to Above the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you for clicking on this video. So today we're going to be doing the final Oscar predictions. Well, actually, it's just my only Oscar winner predictions video because um, I never did anything else besides who I thought was going to be nominated. Got it through that one. Um, I'm also going to be incorporating these snubs, these surprises, because I also didn't do that video and I just was like, you know what? I'm just going to incorporate everything into one. That way we just have one deal if you do prefer for there to be two separate videos one for snubs and surprises and one for the prediction for next year and let me know down below but otherwise i'm just gonna go ahead and do it this way so the oscars are not tomorrow surprisingly enough right i'm always doing it the day before but i actually have the best picture showcase on saturday i'm gonna be there all day long we're doing the 24-hour marathon me and my sister desiree I don't know how I'm gonna do it, you guys, because if you do not know me, you guys, I am an early bird. I go to sleep by like 10, 10.30. If I'm feeling a little scandalous, and it'll be 11. Then we have the Oscars on Sunday. I'm possibly going to be doing a vlog about the experience. I don't know, I'm thinking I am. We're gonna, you're gonna see me really decline as the hours get there pretty, pretty late, you guys. Um, so I've pretty much seen everything except two films, which is uh, Little Women and Parasite, so I'm very excited for that. Uh, Little Women is actually the very first movie of the uh, showcase, but Parasite, you guys, oh my god. Parasite is the second to last, you guys. It doesn't start till 11. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, you guys. I'm legit panicking. When I saw what time this movie started, I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? AMC, why, why would you do this to me? We're gonna start off with the surprises because there was really just maybe like two or three in my opinion. Um, I'm not really gonna go technical into every single category. When it does come to the documentaries, um, I have no knowledge of what's going on there. And then for some of the shorts, I don't know. I think there's only one of the shorts that I kind, I only know one movie. Everything else I can kind of put in my two cents, the snubs, and then of course we'll do the predictions at the end of the video. Dragging my little sister along for this ride because I want somebody to like interact with. I need somebody to talk to. I'm doing all the other award shows by myself because I have nobody who likes award shows like me. So, so let's go ahead and get Desiree in here and we're going to go ahead and, and get talking and get get anxious and make some decisions i mean there's some categories that are like for sure shoe-ins but then there's other ones and i'm just like eh. i don't know be back in a minute desiree <laughs> and we are back we had to move some things because i was like we need some elbow room in case i wanted to like punch her uh, all right so we're gonna go through the surprises first more than likely it's just gonna be me talking because like i said earlier i'm the only one in my family really who or anybody that I really know as far as my fa friends and family is an award show junkie so she's just gonna sit there possibly make funny faces I don't know <laughs> don't mind her as far as surprises go there really was only I think like two categories for me personally uh, which would be the best supporting actress and also um, animated feature so we're gonna go ahead and start off with supporting actress and obviously the very first one who was actually the very first thing that was said was Kathy Bates for Richard Joel. I saw Richard Joel with me, right? Yes. Okay, and it was good. It we was liked good. it. It was really good. You know who Kathy Bates is, right? The yeah. mom. Okay. She did a good job, right? Yeah, I mean, she... yeah. But I don't think she really deserved. I don't know. What do you think? It wasn't... I didn't... I don't think so because she wasn't really, like, that big part of it. She was the mom, like... Yeah, I mean, course, it's like a supporting mom. role, but yeah, still... Yeah. Compared to other people that could have possibly been nominated, which we'll get to when we do the snubs, I was like, really? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, when I saw the movie, there was a lot of talk about her, and then it kind of died down. So then when she got nominated, it was like, what? Like, literally. She uh, Florence Pugh also got nominated here. Um, I Like I said earlier, we haven't seen Little Women. We're going to see that on Saturday. So I really can't say how her performance is this is running out of battery so she went to go get uh the charger she didn't just leave me or do a disappearing act and the animated feature obvious surprise here for me personally was i lost my body um i love that movie you guys i've seen it you haven't seen it right i told you to watch it i lost my body yeah is that a foreign movie it's like french you guys this movie is not meant for kids trust me it's not at all um, I don't even know what it's, what is it rated. Um, let me see here real quick. So definitely not for kids. It's rated, it's not even rated R, you guys. It's rated TVMA. So 
do not fuss out with well stephanie or that little mexican girl from that channel <laughs> told me to watch it with my kids no no um you can watch it with your teenage kids uh but not with little kids you guys there's there's a lot going on in here but it's really really good so i was really happy that i got nominated but it klaus um i was really hoping that would get nominated and it did so it was a very good surprise on that yeah. one i was like woohoo um and I was very glad that The Lion King did not get nominated because I was not happy at the Globes. I was just like, what <laughs> the heck were they thinking? Um, but other than that, that really was the only other surprise. So let's um, go ahead and get to the snobs. Best at all. This is where I'm going to put in my two cents. I love me my Leonardo DiCaprio. I do. He does great movies. He is the male version of Meryl Streep. I don't think he deserved to be nominated for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. He didn't do anything special in my opinion. I don't think he had like a standout performance. In my opinion, this is where um, Adam Sandler should have been nominated, you guys. Like, for Uncut That's, Gems. That was better. If, yeah. If you guys have not seen Uncut Gems, you definitely should check it out. It's not the best movie ever, okay? It has its flaws. But literally, like, Adam, you get, like, sucked in by Adam's performance best performance awesome. of his career right like yeah. so good he definitely should have been recognized by the academy you know he did like basically threaten the academy in a way to do what he said if he did not get nominated he was going to make the worst film ever so you know what Adam you make that film <laughs> I will watch that film and just to put it in the academy's face you should name it for the Academy. Is that a nice name? Like this video if you like that title. <laughs> Let that get to Adam. Adam, get, I, all I want is to be in your sucky ass movie because I will make that movie suck even harder. I have not seen a movie that really had me, literally you guys, on the edge of my seat. Like, all of this was in the third act. But I was like sweating and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I wanted to stand up. That's how nervous I was. So, so good. That's a performance that's worth recognizing and, you know, right? Yeah. It's worth yeah. it. What Leonard did compared to what Adam did, it, it no. Like, Leo did it to me, in my opinion. And again, for all my Leo fans, I'm a Leo fan as well. Please don't at me. But let's be realistic. Open up your eyes. You know, and again, I'm, like I said, I love him. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. He's done better. And come on, you guys, just just admit it. He didn't deserve this. He really didn't. The one that could have possibly been nominated as well was Eddie Murphy and Dolomite's My Lame. That's a really good movie as well. I still prefer Uncut Gems, but that would have been so good. Like, even if... Um, Jonathan Price is another one that I don't think that he should have been nominated. Um, and I love the two popes. So you haven't seen the two popes either. Really good. I really liked it. I mean, I would have took in Jonathan Price and Leonardo out of here. And I think it would have been like epic if Eddie Murphy and Adam Sandler were both nominated. Like, can you just imagine like two iconic comedians in the same year? That would have been cool. Like never happened before. Like that's awesome. Like that, that's like, wow, that would have been amazing. Regardless, they weren't gonna win because it's gonna go. To, it's going to Joaquin, but still, just to be nominated is you know. Taron Edgerton also could have been nominated. I'm very surprised that he didn't because I mean he won the Golden Globe um, for Rocket Man and he wasn't even nominated here. So that's like a huge snub. It's like what? Um, and I guess if I want to bring somebody else in, um, would have been like my last pick uh, was Christian Bell for Four B Ferrari. You saw no, you didn't. didn't oh see damn it! Stuff. She sucks. She doesn't see anything. <laughs> Somebody had last year for Vice. Was it Vice last year? I think it was last year, or the year before last. I think it was last year. So he just came out of a, an Oscar nomination. So he shouldn't be like too worried. We'll get him in the next one. Um. So we're, we're gonna get past the actor because I I I still feel. <laughs> From all of them, I think Adam Sandler really deserved it more. For Best Supporting Actress, the obvious snub here was Aquafina, which you have not seen The Farewell, right? I keep trying to get her to watch these movies with me. She's like, do you really want to watch my damn YouTube? I love YouTube, Bethel. I know I'm on there, but still. She's not watching me. I'm shocked that The Farewell in general just didn't get any love. 
such a great movie you guys as in Yongo is another one that they said got snubbed I've never seen us did you saw it? did you watch us no because uh, I was gonna it. watch it on on HBO <clears throat> but I never did oh well people keep saying that she's gonna get nominated I don't really see it happening the Academy doesn't like horror movies um they, they just they're not gonna add it I don't want them to because I really don't want to see the clips when they're passing the horror scene and you're gonna add another like category to the academy mate let it be comedy like i would love to see a comedy category like we got animations not that i mean it's been now a, you know a while but yeah. um shrek i think whenever shrek came out that's when they they added animation supporting actress again you haven't seen it <laughs> which one the farewell you haven't seen the farewell but um farewell. Zhao Shuzen I hope I said her name right you guys she totally deserved an Oscar you guys she's the older lady from the farewell she totally deserved it like instead of Kathy Bates I would have loved for Zhao Shuzen to be in this category like she full on deserve it no offense, but screw Jennifer Lopez. I did not want her to be nominated. I do not think that she needed a nomination. Did you think you saw the hustlers, right? You did. Yes. Yeah. Do you think that she deserved a nomination? Who? Who Jennifer Lopez. She didn't get one, but people kept wanting her to get one. Like ever since the movie came out, like they're like, oh, she's gonna get an Oscar nomination. She's gonna. Uh, I. I didn't. I don't. I don't, I don't think. So. Right. I don't know why. What the obsession is. Yeah. You know what? Jennifer is just fine. She had the damn Super Bowl. She did an amazing show like best super bowl halftime in years she's all right she didn't get an oscar nomination she she got she got some opportunities <laughs> but sh not for this not for this jennifer you can get a better movie than to get nominated for this particular no no girl no but sound choosing that breaks my heart she didn't get nominated like from the list i would have just taken kathy bates out i feel like um because scarlett johansson ain't going nowhere that's for this. That's for yeah, Jojo Rabbit. Even though she is a double nominee, she ain't winning shit. Let's get to animated feature, and the obvious snub is Frozen. Frozen Two, which, in my opinion, did not deserve a nomination. So I am with the Academy for this to be nominated. Did, did you want it to be nominated? No, I think the ones that are that were nominated now were fine. I don't. I don't right? Think there was nothing that special. About Toy Story. I mean, Toy Story. <laughs> there was nothing special about Frozen, too. <laughs> I, I mean, it was enjoyable, right? Yeah. But I, I still prefer part one. It is better. Part one is better. And honest. The drama. Yeah, even the songs were more catchy in part one. And well, the only one that I like from Frozen 2 is Into the Unknown. Into the unknown. No! Oh. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do it. I don't know. How does it go? Uh, I don't know. It was, I, it, to me, it wasn't really memorable. I really, honestly, to God, don't really remember the movie. I don't remember the movie. It's the only thing I know about the songs because I saw it here and I clicked on it to remember which one it was. Summer. <laughs> Summer. I think that was actually pretty good, you guys. Okay, you guys, so I think that's all that I have as far as my uh, snubs go. I may be missing some things, but this video's gonna be long. So we're gonna try to get through it. I pretty much just kind of covered the big major deals. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get to the juicy part. Prediction time, you guys. So I got my violet. Am I have it upright? I got it. We're gonna fill it out together. Well, I'm filling out my own. She's going to write her sound somewhere. Oh, here's your stuff. Yeah. In my defense, I printed mine out weeks ago, and I totally forgot to, like, print one out for her, even though I knew we were going to do this movie. I had it in the back of my mind, to be honest <laughs> with you. I just never did it. Okay. I got pans, y'all. Oh, my God. Those of you guys, this is about to get so, like, <laughs> so scared. I get so scared, Desiree. It's, it's exciting times. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just start off with the lock-in five categories. You don't know who is on the top, who's, I think only from probably the actor who, who's going to win. 
but you don't know who is um at the top runners all right yeah. we're gonna have you guess first and then i'll let you know Great. cool you know if that's an actual like top runner if you did good yeah. now even though these are gonna be lock in for sure like everybody like this is where we're all putting in our money i'm not betting but because i mean a lot of things can happen you guys this is what makes me so nervous it's a live show so many things the academy all those people they probably spit some votes and something else just kind of like stuck in there i mean we know what happened at the globes with um missing link that one came out of left field, like, what the heck? Like, he won? <laughs> so, the possibilities are like, oh my god, you guys, like, seriously. Okay. Very funny to see you during your day. Yes. So, as far as the four actor categories, this is literally their award to lose. Because this is who we all think is going to win. So, if obviously, this is just, they're like, lock-in, shoe-ins. All right, we're going to go ahead and start it off. Actor in the leading row. And Antonio Banderas, Leonardo DiCaprio, Adam Driver, Joaquin Phoenix, and Jonathan Price. And you already said, because we kind of yeah. gave it, it was, it's, it's Joaquin, obviously, you guys, if you don't have your money on Joaquin, I don't know what's wrong with you. Actor in a supporting role, we have Tom Hanks for A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, Anthony Hopkins, The Two Popes, Al Pacino, The Irishman, Joe Pesci, The Irishman, Brad Pitt, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Who's your pick? I think it's going to be one of the two from The Irishman. But I don't know which one. Let me see which one. Pacino or Joe Pesci? Anthony Hopkins. <clears throat> two Pokes. You should see The Irishman. <laughs> I do. What the hell is looking? Well, young lady, you are incorrect. Was it one of The Irishmen? No, it's Brad Pitt. Damn it. <laughs> Y'all heard it first. <laughs> she picked Anthony Hopkins. Wouldn't that be something that he actually won? <laughs> right. Actress in a leading role. Cynthia Erivo Harriet. Scarlett Johansson for Marriage Story. Sorsen Rowan for Little Women. Charlize Theron for Bombshell. And Renee Zellweger for Judy. Oh, I didn't see three of those movies. Which one did you see? Oh, you saw Bombshell. And I saw Marriage Story. Oh, you finally saw it? Yeah. <gasps> when? Today. Did you like it? You probably did it. I liked it. It was oh, so good. It was good. Me, me, me. Me, me. This is actually very nice because it's distracting me from like my anxiety <laughs> when we get to other categories. <laughs> well, I know most of mine are going to be wrong except probably the first one because he was awesome so I'm gonna just go with Cynthia Rico Harriet wrong damn it <laughs> Renee Zellweger for Judy Judy I don't even I don't even know Judy and run along to Oh, where am I at? Okay. Dress and a supporting role. Kathy Bates, Richard Joel, Laura Dern, Marriage Story, Scarlett Johansson, Jojo Rabbit, Florence Pugh, Little Women, Margot Robbie, for Bombshell. Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson, you are wrong. It's Laura Dern for Marriage Story, the, the, the lawyer. Really? Yeah. We're going to stop right here real quick. I mean, I love Mary Story. Yeah, I know how much I love Mary Story. Yeah. I talk about it a lot. I don't really see why Laura Dern is sweeping everything, in my opinion. I mean, she did a great job. Don't get me wrong. But quite honestly, from everybody, besides Florence Pukes, I haven't seen that one. Everybody else, even at this point, Kathy Bates, I feel like I prefer her over Laura Dern. Obviously... Who I would love to win is Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Even though, you guys, just remember, I love me some marriage story. But still, got my opinions. Don't at me. Moving right along to the last one that is for sure a, a lock-in, which is a cinematography. And that is The Irishman, Joker, The Lighthouse, 1917, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Come on, Desert. You got this. 
I got this. You got this. You got this. You've seen all of them except the Irishman. Yeah. I don't know. I liked how the lighthouse was shot. Yeah, that was really good. That was. I, I'm very happy. We just saw the lighthouse the other day, you guys. It's awesome. But I was. I'm sick of your party. <laughs> That's, we're gonna be seeing that in our house a lot now, you guys. I really liked how 1917 was shot. It was pretty cool how it was shot. Mm -hmm. I'm just seeing that. It is right! <laughs> Finally, she got one, you guys. She I got two. Oh, yeah, one. you've been saying Joaquin, right? Yeah. Okay. She got two! <laughs> Here we go, you guys. Here, I, I feel myself sweating because um, we're, we're getting to the not so easy one. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Another schlocky and shoe in. International feature film Corpus Crispy, Honeyland, Le Miserable, Plain and Glory, and Parasite. I haven't heard of none of them except Parasite, and I hear a lot of things about Parasite, so I'm just gonna pick that. That one. is correct. Parasite is a shoot in on that. Oh, it's so scary. <laughs> I don't know. And the lead best picture and director for last. Okay. My paper's gonna be so wrinkly by the end of this, you guys. No joke. So, animated feature film. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, I Lost My Body, Klaus, Missing Link, Toy Story 4. Going in, I thought that was the obvious shoe in Especially once it didn't get, um, I, especially after uh, Frozen didn't get nominated, I was like, yeah. that's just going to win. But then, the Globes happened, and Missing Link got it. And then, the Annie's happened, and the, what was the other one? I can't remember the other one, but in the Annie's, Klaus took like seven awards. So I really feel like at this point, Toy Story 4 is out. And it's either gonna come down to Klaus or Missy Link. And I would love, 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 love for How to Turn Your Dragon to win. It just sucks that it doesn't get recognition. Well, it doesn't win. It's been nominated the yeah. three times that they if it's number one, there's always something better. This would be awesome if this was the one. If this one can happen like Missy Link and it just came out of left field in one. I Lost My Body is awesome. And I could kind of see the Academy, but I don't know. I'm surprised it got nominated. I mean, it is rated, like we said, MMA. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, not for kids. I like Klaus. I like better. Klaus too. And because it is on Netflix, it's more accessible for everybody. Yeah. It's a great story, you guys. It really is. I, I've seen it two and a half times because my mom <laughs> saw it. <laughs> my mom saw it I was like there watching it. Toy Story 4, second time I saw it, I didn't love it as much as the first time. In my did, did you love it equally? I don't remember it. I didn't even cry the second time around. I forgot that we watched it in We English. did. The first time we saw it, we saw it in, in, in Mexico, so it's in Spanish when we saw it. And this was actually like the second movie that I've seen in Spanish that I'm not translated in my head. Because I'm always translating them in English. Uh, the first movie was actually seen. And so just for it to like be that great where I'm not like translating you it. You can understand every single thing yeah, it was, it was and talking about. I was just like, oh, okay. And um, I don't want you to be like, I guess I'm grown as you're like, what, you're translating it and stuff like that. It's, I don't do it on purpose, you guys. It just happens. But I didn't do it with this. Um, but then when I started in English, I was kind of disappointed. It I was okay. Yeah, I preferred it. I actually preferred it in Spanish. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pick Klaus too. I think Klaus has um, better, better shot at this point. Costume design. We have The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I feel, in my opinion, it's coming down to Jojo Rabbit, Little Women, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And if I had to, like, knock it down to two Little Women and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And we haven't seen Little Women, but I have heard that they do have awesome costumes. And I'm actually going more towards Little Women because the Academy tends to like period pieces. And apparently they go through like a lot um, of outfits in that movie. I feel like that may be the safest bet. But once upon a time in Hollywood, they have really good costume mm -hmm. designs. Um, <sighs> Jojo Rabbit also did, but it's like... It's, but if you think about it... They're pretty much in... Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's like... A, it's, uh, sorry, the poster for Jojo Rabbit I have right here, you guys. I know you're probably like, what, is there, what are they looking at? <laughs> If you're new here, just know that I have a poster of Jojo Rabbit here. If you've been with me for a while, you know I have a poster of Jojo Rabbit here. 
but you know it's a it's a war movie it's a nazi movie so it's not something that we haven't seen before i feel like once upon a time in hollywood might be the better maybe actual bird i don't know i feel like that's the more unique deal because in the irishman they just had suits they were very nice suits but um and well not all the time in suits but you know just because of how the academy is as far as liking their period pieces uh i mean little women yeah i'm going towards little women are you picking once upon or you're gonna go with little women too i'm gonna go with or are you gonna go with jojo rabbit no not jojo rabbit i think i'm gonna do once upon a time yes so when it comes to the documentary movies, I've never seen, I haven't seen none of these. I'm not even going to lie. So I'm just going to randomly pick one. Documentary feature, there's American Factory, The Cave, The Age of Democracy, For Summer, and Honeyland. I've been hearing really good things about American Factory, and I believe that's on Netflix or Prime. So I'm just going to do with that, but I don't have any knowledge when it comes to the documentary stuff. Um, don't at me about that. <laughs> Let me know down below what you guys picked. <laughs> Documentary short subject. Again, I don't know anything about it, so I'm just going to randomly pick one. In the absence, learning to skateboard in a war zone. If you're a girl, life overtakes me. St. Louis, Superman, and walk, run, cha-cha. And from all of these, I think I've only heard about learning to skate. So I'm just going to pick that one. I think that's the one that it is. I may be mistaken, but we're gonna just take that. Are you picking that one or what are you picking? That walk, run, cha cha kind of caught my attention. <laughs> Moving right along to film editing, and we got Ford v. Ferrari, The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, and Parasite. We're gonna do. I'm gonna say Ford v. Ferrari too. Um, even though Parasite. I don't think Parasite is just gonna go home with one award, like, not just with the foreign. But I don't think you'll go with editing. It could. Oh. That's on the back burner, you guys. But I'm going to click for v Ferrari. Because for v Ferrari also more than likely is... It might take one, two awards tops. That's going to be once we get to sound. Makeup and hairstyling. Oh my god, this was another lock-in. This is another lock-in. Bombshell. Joker. Judy. Maleficent. Mr. Evil. 1917. Wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> you see how I get? You see? <laughs> I'm not allow you guys. What is it, Bombshell? Yes! Bombshell. Original score. This, oh, this is another one that's a shoe in, too. <laughs> I'm so bad at this, you guys. All right, it's okay. Okay. Joker. Little Women. Marriage Story, 1917, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. This Maybe is Maybe Star Wars? You would think it would be Star Wars, but it's not. It's Joker. Damn, I should have gone with my gut. I was like debating. I'm like, I like the music that was yeah. in there. I was like, I don't know. <clears throat> Yeah, I just said it. Yep, I would have gotten it right. Would have gotten it right. Original song. I can't let you throw yourself away. Toy Story Four. I'm gonna love me again. A Rocket Man. I'm standing with you. Breakthrough into the unknown. Frozen Two and Stand Up. Harriet. I really like Rocket Man. It is Rocket Man. Yeah. Yes. I don't know why I had like. Deja vu. Really? Like, yeah. Was it called? somebody changed something in the program? <laughs> you know that's from right here, remember? Not really. The Matrix. You guys, we're getting to the hard parts. I don't really know these over here. Production design. The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Parasite. I'm going more towards 1917 and Parasite, even though I have not seen Parasite. But I hear, again, great things. And I heard that they built that whole, like, house or whatever the hell it was. We um i'm choosing 1917. i'm gonna go with parasite okay but 1917 could win animated short film this is another one i don't know except for one because the only one that i've seen so that's the one that i'm gonna pick and that is the sarah daughter hair love kit bull memorable and sister and i'm doing hair love you've seen that one right 
Yeah, where, where did that short come on? I think it was for Frozen. I'm, 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 and I'm, I'm gonna go with that skull. I don't know. It's still a wake size the one I've seen. <laughs> well, live action short film. Oh, I don't know this one either. So, Brotherhood, Nepta Football Club, The Neighbor's Window, Saria, A Sister. I don't know. I don't know her. I don't know none of these. Um, I'll do my pick. Put the paper in front of the pen, and I'm just gonna... You pick... You're kind of in the middle. <laughs> I'll do a Neighbor's Window. The neighbor's Window, okay. I'll go with you. I kind of want to go with sister <laughs> <laughs> or brotherhood. <laughs> okay, we'll go with the neighbor's window. So sound editing and mixing. Now, originally, I was like, these are shoe-ins. And to me, the obvious pick was, let me tell you who the nominees are. Ford v. Ferrari, Joker, 1917. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and then uh, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, that's for editing. Um, Ad Astra, Ford v. Ferrari, Joker, 1917, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So, to me, the obvious shoe-in would have been 1917 because it's a war movie. But, Ford v. Ferrari did amazing in how everything just mixed in together and what came together. So, even though I feel like 1917 is going to win both, but Ford v. Ferrari could take one. For me, Ferrari took one in some award. I can't remember, but I don't believe 1917 was nominated for that one when it won. I'm gonna do one in one and take my chances. Uh, what would you pick? I mean, I'm, I'm, and I'm doing 1917 for editing and For Me, Ferrari for mixing. That's where I'm gonna do it. Watch it be the opposite way or watch it be 1917 for both. But I'm gonna do editing for 1917. We're gonna do mixing for. Um, Ford Ferrari. And for me, what, what's your favorite? I'm going to do 1917 for both. 1917 for both. And I feel like that's more the safer bet, but I'm being so scandalous. <laughs> Need a fix real quick. Anybody else addicted to chapstick? Chapstick is life, you guys. I freak out. Fun fact about me. I freak <laughs> out if I lose it. Oh, my sisters like steal it from me and hide it that's why i have like chapstick literally hidden everywhere i have drawers <laughs> everywhere they're like my emergency chapsticks visual effects we got avengers in game the irishman the lion king 1917 and star wars the rise of skywalker the lion king even though i did not like it kind of had pretty good visual effects but I think I may go with 1917. I don't know. I've been picking 1917 for a lot. Yeah, 1917 is going to go home with a lot of awards. Like, I can guarantee you that. We are almost there, you guys. We have four more categories to go. Adapted screenplay. The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, and The Two Popes. I'm going to give it to Jojo Rabbit because Jojo Rabbit needs to go home with at least it one does. award. And I love Jojo Rabbit. And I honestly feel like out of all of these, realistically has the better chance. It's an awesome movie, you guys. If you have not seen Jojo Rabbit, y'all need to watch it. Y'all know I'm always like talking about it. Easy. Original screenplay. We got Knives Out, Marriage Story, 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Parasite. This where it gets hard. You're, you're probably going to pick 1917, aren't you? I don't know. Quentin has won twice already for this. That's Hollywood. And he won at the Globes. He's won somewhere else too, I think. I really think it comes down to Hollywood and Parasite. And just because Tarantino has had it twice already, I think it's twice. I'm saying that too confidently, but I feel like <laughs> it is. I'm doing Parasite. Parasite? I'm gonna, I'm gonna... And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to Parasite. But I wouldn't be surprised if we see Tarantino up there again. I really wouldn't. What, what do you think? I'm gonna do Once Upon a Time. Are you gonna do that one? Yeah. Okay. Now two, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and do directing first. Uh, we have Martin Scorsese for The Irishman, uh, Tom Phillips for Joker, Sam Mendes, 1917, Quentin Tarantino, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Bong Joon-ho for Parasite. At the 
end is coming down to Sam Mendes or Bon Joon Ho, you guys. Sam Mendes has been pretty much, for the most part, sweeping it around. That's yeah, like 1917. Yeah. Just making sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, you guys, it's because it doesn't say the, the, the director's name. I literally set them off of memory. It just says the name of the, uh, the, the movie. Tied at the... Where did they tie at? The Critics' Choice, I think, is where they tied at. But other than that, Sam Mendes has been winning it. And I'm going to give it to Sam. Sam. You doing the same? Yeah. Final award of the night. Best picture. We got Ford v. Ferrari, The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, Marriage Story, 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Parasite. Who is going to win, you guys? Obviously, who I want to win is Jojo Rabbit. That is who mentally I am marking on my ballot in my head is Jojo Rabbit. Realistically, I don't see it happening. It's coming down to 1917 or Parasite. See this heifer making fun of my hand movements. <laughs> 1917. Oh. That's just me. Could Parasite win foreign picture and best picture? Like, I honestly don't see it really realistically happening. They didn't do it last year for Roma. Roma got foreign, but it did not get best picture. And one of the front runners that was supposed to win that one in like Bohemian Rhapsody. And I think the favorite was another one. But what happened? And that's what I hope, I pray. Fingers crossed, toes crossed, everything crossed. Like the same thing that happened last year when Green Book came out of left field and went up there and took the award. Because I was literally one of like very few people who was very excited that Green Book won. I love that movie, you guys. You didn't see that, I did you? I didn't see it. It is so <laughs> good. I mean, I was just like, what? That heifer, she knows my expressions. So could that magic please happen again? And let it be Jojo Rabbit. <laughs> Desiree, do you agree? Jojo Rabbit should take it, oh my god. In the second place, you'll do 1917? Yes. Italy, 1917. I mean, Italy, Jojo Rabbit. Realistically speaking, Oh, I don't know, you guys. I think 1917. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Jojo know. Jojo Rabbit. 1917. <sighs> I just. This is the part that I'm just like, yo, yo. Okay. Um, we're going to give it to. I I think 1917 too. And I think it would be like a good surprise for Parasite. And the only reason I think Parasite might win is because Sam Mendes is going to get directing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, Desiree. Go ahead and, and cue the SpongeBob cue card for an hour later. All right, you guys. We're going to do 1917. It's there, it's tomorrow, oh my god, it's a pin. But guess what, you guys? Yeah, I know I'm always changing things. And I haven't put it in my trusty book yet. I don't know. So this is the list, even though you can't really see it. Let us know down below what your picks are. What are you thinking? Do you agree with our list? Are you like, you're completely wrong? I don't know, you guys. We have the Best Picture Showcase on Saturday. Very excited. We're finally going to see uh, Little Women and Parasite. Yep. Pray for me to be able to stay up. Joker Rabbit, 2 a.m. Which, yes. She's very excited. I'm very, like, I don't even know what I'm going to do because I love that movie and I'm afraid I'm going to be asleep. Now for my live reaction video, that probably more than likely won't be up until uh, Monday. Are you going to partake in my live action? I'll be there. Okay. What about if it's just for like the best picture one? Yeah. Okay. Um, so yes. Exciting times you guys. Anything can happen. Could we see Jojo Rabbit up there? I would love to. If you guys click on this video, don't forget to 
like this video subscribe down below and while you're down there click the notification bar so you never miss a post and until next time i'll be seeing you guys at confessions bye